Hi, this is Porter Thorndike with Information Builders. I'm going to take you through a demonstration of how we support an extranet deployments use case. This is going to look at the technology and the interfaces that drive our customer facing deployments. And this is going to be experienced by a business user, in this case, an account executive. And to talk about some of the enterprise capabilities of our portal that are seen in a lot of customer facing deployments, the first is can it scale? to support a customer facing deployment. And we have many references of our portal being used in deployments over 100,000 users. Does it have the architecture to support it? It's architected to support multi-tenancy and software as a service deployments. And does it have the enterprise security? And if we start with data level security, this page is seen in another area of our demonstration, but this page has data security applied so that this user sees just their data and that can also be extended to page level security. Which pages do we have access to? What folders can I see? What content do I have access to? And what can I do with that content? If we have the platform that supports customer facing deployments, we also have the interfaces that support customer facing deployments. And we like an info app as the interface for customer facing deployment. An info app is a highly interactive analytical app for non-technical users. It's purpose-built to solve specific use cases. Expedia and Google Maps are great examples of an info app experience. And this info app is purpose-built to help an account executive manage their territory. It's populated with data from several sources like Hoover's, customer systems, and prospect systems. It's highly parameterized with a lot of drill down options and very strong location analytics capabilities. If you're going to talk about location analytics, it starts with, do you support multiple map layers, which we do? And what types of layers do you support? We support demographic layers that come from the partnership with ESRI. And this is showing me a concentration of companies by metropolitan area. And we've also got very strong visualization capabilities that allow you to turn on heat layers to look at concentrations or clustering to look at clusters. Because we have this highly parameterized info app experience, I can also isolate manufacturers over 2 billion in size if I have a marketing campaign for companies that fit that description. If I wanna use this info app to plan a trip, let's use it to plan a trip to visit my at-risk customers. We've embedded advanced analytics into this info app. We created a predictive model that scored customers that have left us in the past and used that to score our current customers as a churn risk, yes or no, and likelihood. And so to visit my at-risk customers, I'll select churn predicted yes, and I've got 96, I can't visit all 96. How about also the ones where I have a deal in the pipeline? I've got nine of those, I can do that. And General Electric might be my best customer. I wanna learn everything we know about them. And a lot of times there's an advanced visualization that's perfect at communicating a certain type of data. And if I think that General Electric is a churn risk because of the support issues we've been having, we support these advanced D3 style visualizations like a calendar control that are perfect at communicating a certain type of data like support issues over time. And I wanna continue my education to learn about them. I wanna understand everything we know about them. That is seen in an all-in-one and that is often a data integration and data integrity challenge. The reason is Information on General Electric or a, a company lives in a lot of systems, and we've got the data integration to access those systems. But is that information clean and organized? We have the data integrity to cleanse it and organize it, and this is a screenshot of our product that does that. And if you can do that, creation of and consumption of an all-in-one becomes easy. <clears throat> and this all-in-one is telling me everything we know about General Electric. It's delivered in our in-document analytics format, which presents a variety of tabular or graphical views and embeds the data and interactive controls in the document so that it can be used portably and disconnected. And we see a contact and a support tickets trend and where the leads have come in and what they've purchased. So I've got the first leg of my trip. Let's play in the second leg of my trip to visit some prospects that are in the closing phase. We've extended the advanced analytics for churn risk in customers to score prospects as low or high risk because the input variables are the same. Industry, sector, company size, products they're interested in. So I've got 
350 prospects. Let's look at just the low risk prospects. And let's look at just the ones that are in the closing phase. I've got 28 of those. I think I can pick through these. Sunoco Logistics is the biggest one. Again, is there an advanced visualization that's perfect at communicating something about the data that we know about our prospects, like the timeline? So a timeline visualization is perfect at communicating anything that happens over a timeline, like a sales cycle. And I can analyze this and I can see where we got started with this prospect. And I can see that we approved the budget, that we did a workshop and a proof of concept and reference checks panned out. We're in negotiation, so I definitely want to visit this prospect. I want to see where they are on the map. Is there anyone else I can visit while I'm in Philadelphia? And there is another prospect nearby, Marigas Partners. And this is where making use of the different base map layers would be useful for me. The context of the roadway or the satellite view. And this is also where if I'm in town, are there any of these companies on the Hoover's list I could prospect, cold call, try to set up a meeting with? Making use of the selection tools will be very useful here. Show me all of the Hoover's companies within 20 miles. Or the traffic on the bridge is terrible. Let me draw a custom polygon north of the river or use the marquee select. And this is going to give me a list of all those companies. I could just leave this open as my call list for the day. So I've used this info app to effectively manage a new marketing campaign and plan a trip to visit at-risk customers and my prospects in the closing phase that are low risk. Now that I'm on the road, do we have an interface and a technology that can help me while I'm on the road? And of course, we have that in-document analytics capability, the customer all-in-one. And we pair that with our ability to burst it and schedule it and distribute it for information delivery. And it's been coordinated for me in this case by company. So as I go from Bristol-Myers Squibb to General Electric to Rite Aid, all of this information on my tablet remains interactive but works whether I'm connected or disconnected. And employees in the field is a huge use case for in-document analytics and for information delivery. The best use case for in-document analytics and information delivery that we support is interactive e-statement. We have many customers that are using us to create interactive e-statements. It's really a data monetization use case because when you study the benefits of going with a paperless statement, it obviously saves costs on printing and distribution, but it has not traditionally increased revenue through something like improved customer satisfaction because customers derive no additional value from the paperless statement as they do from the paper statement. But if you present them with an interactive statement, like seen here, it will increase customer satisfaction. When I get my statement, I look at it, and I say to myself, I've got a wife, I've got two kids, I'm going to fall short of my retirement target, that's bad. What can I do to change that? I love football, but what if I dropped NFL Sunday ticket? That would allow me to increase my contribution to 5% and my family would make its retirement target. And we can do that on an interactive e-statement. And as I look at my fund activity, I'm always looking at the ending balance and how much it went up, but I can't visualize that like I can on the interactive e-statement and I can't look at how that's affected the percentages and we can do that on the interactive e-statement and I can't look at the funds that I'm invested in in the performance that they've had and compare that to some other funds that are available that I might consider investing in and we can do those things in the interactive e-statement and it's really that combination of the traditional branded statement look and feel with that simple interactivity that makes the interact uh, the interactive e statement such a strong data monetization use case so in this demonstration we've reviewed how we support the extranet deployments use case how our platform and interfaces can drive the high user adoption rate required of a customer facing deployment